So I think I'll, I'm just in the interest of time, I'll move on. And that was a perfect segue into into these notes. So thank you, Val, for that as well. Uh, so uh, uh, we're just end, ending off here with, uh, over, the, over the break while you were in breakups, Janet and I sat down and tried to condense some of our thinking over the last few days. And what's on screen are just a few of my notes, having discussed them with Janet. And Janet may want to, there was a lot of overlap in what we condensed, but you may want to interject at any point. Uh, I'm not, some of these, um, these, these points I made yesterday, I'm not going to go and read through them all, but I may mention uh, some, of, some of the key points. And I'm also, I think we're both happy to circulate the notes that we've distilled uh, uh, from this, and uh, everybody's welcome to look at them and, and comment, comment on them. But they could also form the, some elements of, of both this briefing and of any synthesis uh, be, be, be beyond this uh, uh, meeting as well. Uh, the key points are about uh, climate change already being here, and uh, within a few decades, either we will have be committed to a substantially warmer climate, or we'll have taken major actions to avoid such a climate. And ecosystems play a, a major part in both scenarios uh, uh, of the future. Uh, they have complex responses to climate change, and we only partially understand, uh, uh, or have only partially incorporated into our projections, the complexity of ecosystems. That may provide us some cushion, but we need to understand what aspects of that complexity we can enhance, we can identify and work with. Uh, a key point made yesterday was intact, extensive, and connected ecosystems have improved prospects for resilience than degraded ecosystems. So we need to preserve and restore intactness uh, where we can. Uh, rather than being framed as a victim of climate change, biodiversity can be seen as a key ally in dealing with climate change, a point that Nat really emphasized this morning. Uh, and ecosystem management has the potential to play a major role. And another point that came out in some of our discussions, uh, particularly in the breakout groups, there's a danger that some ecosystem-based climate mitigation can have perverse outcomes for biodiversity and things like BECs, large-scale bioenergy, afforestation of natural non-forest ecosystems are ways that misguided ecosystem interventions could actually have negative consequences for the resilience of the biosphere uh, and uh, the prospects of adaptation in the biosphere. Uh, in a, clim a time of climate uncertainty, but also global physical and economic connectivity, it is wise to manage landscapes and multifunctional services. A uh, uh, point that really emerged today in particular, there's a widespread evidence base around nature-based solutions for climate change, uh, uh, which generally shows that they're effective, but can also identify their limits and their challenges. And this evidence is not sufficiently disseminated to inform decisions at all the levels from, uh, from, from international to local. Uh, uh, there are many aspects of ecosystem science which we're, where we will not know enough sufficiently fast in a rapidly changing world. And there's value in long-term monitoring and tracking these changes and picking up early warning of potential tipping points. And we also need to think about how we implement adaptive management under this uncertainty of never knowing enough uh, of, of the real system. There's a number of implementation challenges. There's, there's a, around scale, finance, political barriers, uh, uh, giving potential winners the access to the levers of power and equity. Uh, there may be some innovative opportunities. Uh, as Andrew mentioned, uh, one that I wasn't aware of for working with existing rural protection programs, ways of working that, that we hadn't thought of before as, as ecologists. And so that these, some of these, I think, can be distilled towards some of this you know, policy-focused uh, uh, points there as well from, from our community. Uh, the last point here is uh, perhaps to focus more on academic research, the, uh, the academic community. Uh, and uh, I think Steve's framing, because he's done it for Steve, is still here, uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, but around the four, four questions, well, as I framed, the four questions to avoid a funeral, uh, and, uh, without, which I think is a, a great way of thinking about the different levels of how, how multidisciplinary research can work. I and mean, these are all four questions that we need to address to, to, to tackle these. As ecologists, we may be more comfortable in the, in, the, in the first question around science, that's fine. That's where our expertise is. But we can also work with economists, with political scientists, uh, with practitioners to work at, uh, at the other levels uh, of, this, of this cascade as well. And I think this is the way, one way of thinking about the way interdisciplinary collaborations can be framed on how sometimes, uh, speaking as an ecologist, uh, it's really interesting to, to be out of my comfort zone and uh, talking in areas that I haven't got experience in practice, but actually working with others who are also have their own comfort zones, uh, but working uh, across this cascade is, is, is one way to, to, to think of, of moving forward. Uh, did, did you have a response to that? I, 
I absolutely love this, the, the summary, and I think it really captures a lot of things. You just have to be careful. One of the things we wanted to achieve here was bringing a terrestrial and a marine community together, and the examples you've given and the language you used is completely terrestrial. Okay, that's a good point as well. So what we, what we should certainly do is, and I, I think one of the real strengths has been, has been this, this, this meeting of the marine and the terrestrial community as well. So certainly we, that's a, that point is, is important. Uh, uh, and here's a few priorities that we uh, identified. This is certainly not meant to be anywhere. It's a start of a list rather than a, than a comprehensive list. Uh, number one, make what we already know uh, more available and get, getting out there to, to what is needed. That's a, that's a quote from, from Natalie there. Uh, uh, there's a need to propagate good examples, in, but in a way that is systematic and not cherry-picked, so that they have some sort of evidence base to the good examples that we, we propagate. Uh, uh, identify the key and tractable knowledge gaps, the things that we actually, the gaps, but the things that we could actually make real progress on if we actually focus attention on. Now, there are other gaps that are, we're never going to make enough progress in enough time, but can we identify the tractable knowledge gaps? Uh, identify how key elements of the complexity that enhance resilience and adaptation can be supported and enhanced. Identify whether our key co-benefits and trade-offs and co-benefits are particularly crucial to think about. Uh, and implement or maintain long-term monitoring which can be the only way to fully understand trajectories in the, context, in the complex context that we face. And this can also be a mechanism to translate research into local solutions. And if Janet, if you wanted to add some, some points to that. Right. So my main job at this point is to make sure we finish on time. So I have about, uh, we have about four minutes. Um, and so I'll just uh, add two Two things. One is that on this list you're looking at uh, right now, one thing I wondered is if, number two, identify key, uh, key intractable knowledge gaps in our ecosystem science. Um, one might think that is what we would have accomplished at this meeting. Um, and, you know, we may have but not consolidated that information. So don't answer that now. Um, but I hope that could, can be part of the, the follow-up that is uh, asynchronous and, and offline. Um, and then the, the second thing I'll say as a summary is that you know, th these notes and um, mine, which were quite similar, were our, um, Yadvinder, and you know, our attempt to consolidate what happened here. So uh, a brief of um, the outcome of this forum. So if that has the co-benefit <laughs> of providing a, a brief um, of the outcome of this forum to something like a COP, and I don't understand how COPs work, so I appreciate the two of you explaining that to us. I don't think it was the original intention of the, the forum, nor m may we be in the position in terms of the time frame to make policy recommendations in that time frame. But nonetheless, if a briefing of the outcome of this forum, such as you're looking at, um, could, could have that co-benefit, <laughs> could be repurposed for that, as well as begin to start the forum, the basis of the official summary of the forum that the staff are producing, as well as the other outcomes. Um, that would be great. So if we uh, need to, I want to, I want to point out that in my notes, a lot of my examples were marine because I learned not working in that world. I learned quite, I, that, all that stuff about the coral reefs really resonated with me yesterday. So if this means we'll put this in a Google Doc, that, you know, a sandbox we can, we can all play on in, in fairly short order, um, whatever works best, that's how I'm thinking we might follow up with that. So, in the one minute remaining, <laughs> would anyone like to have the last word? Any, any final comments to... Everybody's racing to the, to the airport or to the shuttle. Thank, all right. you, thank you very thank you. much to all of you oh. who've organized this meeting. It's been fantastic and it's been greatly appreciated by everyone, I think. Yeah, thank I'd you. really like to thank the staff. <laughs> especially the staff of the two societies and they you know the steering committee but they really steered us and so and thank you to to all of you for your valuable time this was just a completely amazing experience so thank you all right i just want to say i think it's been terrific if i could think of something 
a better way to spend two days than with all these fantastic company and great minds just brainstorming these ideas. This is just a perfect way to, 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 to work on, on these topics. So thank you for all your uh, gameliness and, and support uh, in, in this activity. Thank you. So.